Java, Java, leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Letting the babies out. You have to let me get to the gate to let you out, lads or ladies. Come on, girls. Move. <laughs> Getting this tight squeeze in here. Now. If you guys, you're gonna knock me for six. I'm not careful. Woo! And they're off with Java after them. Okay! Come on! Good boy! Come on! Come on, Java! Good boy! Atta good boy! Clever man! You clever boy! You're learning very well. You good boy. Yes. You're learning so quickly. You're so tiny. Still smaller than your mother. Now, the alpaca are still here. Whoops, see Java nose. Off to her. Oh no, you're back again. There must be a lovely piece of sheep poop to eat. Java, 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 Java. Java! Java! Wait! How are you, Oreo Bloom? Yeah. Java! Wait! Good boy. Wait! Okay. <laughs> Java! Good girl, Maya. Yes, you're learning when to stop. Good girl. Yes. Java! Java's not, however, learning when to stop. Quite yet. Almost. Java! Come here. Come on. Come here. Attaboy! Come on. Come on, you tiny little hairy molly. Come on, you good boy. He's such a speck. You can hardly see him on the film. You good boy. I've got to close this gate down here now. Clever boy. Now you no know more hurting. Java, Java. Easy. Good boy. Easy. You're a good girl too. Very good girl. Came up to see how the horses were. You guys, tomorrow you're gonna get a bale of hay outside. You good girl, aren't you? I love your little white snippet. This is Ishka. Ishka, who at the age of three days old, I had to fish out of a big water tank. She nearly drowned. And this is her daughter. Isn't that right? This is Grasshopper. Yes, they love being scratched right under there. Oh, it's scary, all these big feet. Yes, it's a big foot, isn't it? Good boy. And then of course, Miss Daisy Rose. Uh, 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 Java, leave Miss Daisy Rose alone. How are you, Miss Daisy Rose? Miss Daisy, uh, Brindle, leave her alone. She's, uh, as she's recovered from her awfulness when I first got her, she has become more shy because she can move away. She's kind of liking that. Isn't that right? You beautiful girl. Yes. Yes, let's see if I get you under there. Oh, yes. Even her. Good girl. Yes. Okay. So, the horses are all fine. And they're going to get a bale of hay tomorrow. They think they're coming inside. They think this is all about coming inside time. But no, afraid not, girls. You're still outside. Yes. 
you beautiful girls. No, you're not going outside or inside. You're not. No, stop barking at the horses. I'm giving her a scratch. It's the one place horses can't reach. And they love being scratched there. Oh, and dogs too. Brindle, leave it. Brindle, leave her. Yeah. Oh, kitty. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. Java, leave him alone. Mustard. Underneath the horse's feet. Java, leave it. And time's now joining us. He's a little bit more of a scaredy cat of the horses, even though he bullies his brother. And funnily enough, his brother knows that time is scared of horses. So he sticks close. Isn't that right? Yeah, you beautiful kitty. He doesn't mind the horses. Let's see if I walk in between the horses. Are you gonna follow me? Yep, see, not a bother. Not a bother in amongst the horses, whereas your brother, who's the bully, will chase you away. Mustard's like, oh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Good kitty. You clever kitty. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I've got to go do some more feeding of morning sheep on this foggy, misty morning. Time will probably follow us to the new location. Isn't that right, kitty? Says I'm not going near those horses. He's got my his back to us. Totally insulted. <laughs> you good girl. You're such a beautiful girl. Ah! Yes. Okay, time to go to the next job. Today, it's not frosty. It's just earlier, it was very, very misty. So, no frost this morning. Happy sheep. And the days are numbered that the ram is gonna remain in. Doing it over the 17 days. So the sheep gestation period is seven, uh, sorry, be in season is uh, 17 days. So they've been, the ram has been in with them for, I think it's nearly 20 days or maybe 21 days. And so I'm gonna take them out. Then it's gonna be putting all the rams into a tiny space so they don't beat the living daylights out of each other or kill each other after breeding season or they all kind of think they need to reestablish their dominance. No, no, no. Java, you're okay. You didn't know. Maya, you behave. The sheep have to eat their food. Maya just wants to go in there and get some biscuits. And I mean, oh, where'd she go? It's not like you didn't have a big breakfast already. 
You're not starving. Look, Inca's worried because I was yelling. Look at her tail between her legs. It's okay, Inca. No, it's not your fault. It's your daughter. Your over-enthusiastic daughter. <laughs> Good dogs. Okay, we're going to leave them be. Come on, pups. Come on. There we go. Come on, Ink. Oh, you're still nervous because I was roaring at your daughter. It's okay, pup. Yeah. Oops. I was talking about gates um, in yesterday's video. This gate has been in our family practically since it was probably forged because this right here, this was the old original driveway. You would go through this gate to get down to the road. You'd go down where the O's are feeding. It would be corner around there and it would go through that gate all the way down there at the bottom, that gate right there. And that was the original driveway, I think until my grandfather's time. I think he changed it uh, to where it is now. So this gate has been on this farm since it was forged. So that's a bit of farm history for those of you who like farm history. So everybody's busy. Jonathan's very busy with his favorite chew mug. He's teething and anything and everything is chewable and glizzing plastic mug is one of his favorite toys. And this box, you can see he's chewed this box. Anyway, everybody else is very busy doing things like stretching and sleeping. And I'm wrapping uh, one of the blankets that is being posted off to the USA. Each of the blankets I sell gets a 2024 calendar in it as well. So this is heading off to the US of A um, this morning. And I only have a few left until I get more wool processed and spun and woven into blankets. And that won't happen until next year. So if you want to get a blanket, get one soon. There's only very few left. I think there's three or four left of the whole line until I get more done next year. So we're at that stage where um, I'm running out of stock. Yikes. So I'm bringing the food to the rams and somebody asked me what I'm feeding them. Inca's protecting the bucket because she doesn't want anybody else to get in it. Anyway, the three different kinds of mixture is, these are sugar beet pulp. And it is squeezed and dried probably for sugar, the juices and oils and everything. And then the pulp is then turned into these pellets. Then these are the sheep nuts, which have a variety of different things. They're made into a pellet. Then this is simply rolled barley. Isn't that right? Simply rolled barley. All my dogs and animals love this. Now, the thing about these is you cannot feed sugar beet pulp like this to horses. It'll kill them, it'll give them colic uh, because these swell up. So one of these can swell up and fill my hand practically. They're very uh, dried kind of food. I mix them all up and then that's the meal. That's the meal for the rams. Oh, and a ruminant can digest the swelling of the pulp is fine for their three belly system. Whereas for horses who have one belly, it is not. Just like it wouldn't be good for the dogs, but the dogs don't eat them. The dog's favorite are the sheep nuts. Anyway, it's a very misty day. I'm off to feed the rams. There must be interesting smells badgers or foxes or something. Anyway, the boys are waiting for me. They're anticipating my arrival. Yeah, you're out of the way, mister. You good boy. Nope, you're not going down there. <laughs> he doesn't like... Whoa, 
<laughs> okay, okay, leave it. Don't you hit my dogs. Okay, leave it. Leave it, Java. No. Maya, watch out. There we go. The boys will eat their meal now. Mostly rolled barley with a few bits of uh, sugar beet because it swells up. It has a really good fiber with protein in it. Whoops, dogs, watch out. And then the sheep nuts have vitamins and minerals. But these boys also have a salt lick and a molasses mineral lick. So they have, and the hay, of course. So they've got a very diverse sort of diet. Okay, boys and girls, dogs wise. Come on, dogs. Come on. Pop. Come on. The dogs blend into the leaves. Sometimes you just lose Java in the leaves because he's the same color. Oh, and you got locked out. That wasn't, I didn't mean to do that. It just happened that way. Come on. Out a pup. Come on. Good dogs. Okay. Now, time to bring the lambs in is the next phase. Exercise. Oh, look, these two are about to play. The stalky thing is happening. Whoa, a game of chase. I think the horses are ready to come in. They're hanging out. You're gonna have to move. The horses are gonna come galloping down, just so you know. Definitely ready to come in. It's getting very cold. The temperature is dropping rapidly. So it's gonna be a frosty night. My hands are getting cold. I wasn't wearing gloves. So. Hey, old girl. Yeah. The excitement. And you got on the right side of the fence. You stayed out of the way. again. Come on, you silly girl. Hungry doves. 
Every day there's always dove feeding, and the next thing is the fish feeding. Ah, oh, no, don't. You guys love scaring the doves, don't you? You're so bold, Inca. You're so beautiful. Okay, gotta go finish feeding the rest of the sheep and the fish. You're a bold missus. <laughs>